Alright guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a stripping box. Now these are commercially available. The, the ones I've seen have been between $60 to $80. Um, and I saw this Do It Yourself video on YouTube. I'm just recreating it. This is not my own idea. But basically, uh, you take this basket from... Like, all the parts came from Ace Hardware. So this basket right here by Sterilite was I think $3 at... Ace Hardware, and you buy, let's see, let's see if I can get it out here, five of these, they're called the uh, panel fasteners, the, these are one inch panel fasteners, also available at uh, Ace Hardware, and basically what you're going to do is you're going to drill five holes in the bottom of this, uh, I guess, Tupperware, and you're going to, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but basically put them down like this, you can, I'm going to drill some holes, and push the plugs through from the uh, from the bottom. So anyway, I left the label on so you guys can see uh, what it looks like here. Yeah, like I said, this, like I said, this thing was only three dollars. These one-inch panel fasteners are only sixty-five cents each. Okay, so I got my drill. Um, I'm just gonna take a marker and mark out the uh, the five holes for the. For the panel uh, panel fastener, so I th well, I think something like this, kind of like evenly spaced. Okay, now that the holes are drilled, so I'll take my razor blade and just cut the uh, the burrs off. Then I'm just going to take my panel fasteners and just push them through. Just like that. Alright, they're kind of hard to push through, but there you have it. That's pretty much done. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is drill the holes for my bungee cord, which will be used as my. Uh, I guess my belt. So if you look on the side of this uh, container, there's little notches. I'm just gonna take a quarter inch drill bit and drill them out. Alrighty. Here's the hook on the bungee cord. Looks like it's a good fit. Perfect. So now, here's where it gets a little tricky. Now, if you'll notice, this this particular container has a lip. Let's see if I can get that on film. Right here. Just like a standard Tupperware, you know, would have a lip. The commercially made stripping boxes are flat. What I'm going to attempt to do is take my heat gun and remove this little lip, try to make it more flat and maybe even curved. So here I go. This is about what I got here. The plastic started melting, as you can see right here. So I can't really hit it with too much more heat. Unless I'm just being impatient, which is probably the case. But anyway, you can kind of see here, I got most of that lip out, so it's not, I'm not doing too bad. Let me see if I can go a little bit longer here. Well, that's what I got so far. I mean, it's not perfect, but <clears throat> I think it'll be a lot more comfortable than just having a straight, straight edge here. So now I'm going to give it a try I decided to go ahead and cover the the panel fasteners with the straw now just because I foresee the line, the fly line getting tangled on the little notches on the panel fastener so what I did was I took a little one inch sections of straw and just slipped it over I don't know if you can see that in the videos, just slipped it over the, uh, the posts that's what it looks like when it's all done. See if I can zoom in a little bit. So the way this is going to work is I'm just going to take the hook from the bungee cord, put it into one of those holes that I made, loop it around and just put that portion in. Well there it is. Here's a side view. 
front view, the other side. Alright, I don't know if uh, removing that lip on the other side, on the waist side was necessary. I really don't even feel it. But anyway, that's it. Alright. See you guys next time.